Many of you may have traveled to the coast for your summer holiday, but with 2020 well underway, the beach and the ocean are now just happy memories. That doesn't stop you from enjoying some time down by the sea for lunch or supper with a little help from Eureka and a seafood themed menu. I'm a Durban girl and although I've moved away, I will always be one at heart. I just love seafood and I'm blessed to have experienced a Huckleberry Finn kind of childhood. I looked forward to spending summer days on the beach with my granddad who was a keen fisherman. We picnicked, I learned to fish and I would often leave with a bag of what I called my treasure, which is all the shells that I would collect during the day. On the menu, I'm creating a seafood feast. We've got prawn and salmon puffs, crispy crayfish and a seafood paella. Let's get cooking. Starting out with the prawn and salmon puffs, and for that, we're going to start with the filling first. Sunflower oil going into the pan. Let's heat this up. Once the oil is warmed up, add some chopped onion. Turn up the heat. Stir this through to help the browning process. I'm adding some salt. Fry these onions off until they're golden brown. To this, add the garlic. Stir that in. Fry off the garlic so you get maximum aroma and flavour out of it. To this, a bit of green chilli. Mix that through. This smells absolutely amazing. Red chilli powder going in. And stir that through. Just a few seconds of heat to release flavour. To this, the salmon. You could use any lionfish of your choice. Now be quite gentle when you're working with this. You don't want to mash the salmon up. And it does cook quite quickly. You can see the colour starts to change on the outside already. I'm moving the salmon over to the side of the pan. Let's add some chopped prawn for added decadence. I'm going to just break down the lumps using the wooden spoon. I prefer using the roasted spices once the seafood has cooked off a bit. Coriander going on top, cumin going in, just a touch, a half a teaspoon of garam masala and just a touch of turmeric. Now you can work the salmon into the prawn as well. And to speed up the evaporation of the liquid, make a well in the center and let that cook down. And if there are any large pieces, just use your wooden spoon and break them down. And it flakes beautifully. While that's cooling down, I'm going to roll out the pastry. I've made the pastry already. This is done with flour, butter, iced water, and the little flecks you see in here are actually carom seeds. They're great with savouries and they work particularly well with seafood. To roll this out, I'm going to flatten it slightly. A pinch of flour going onto the work surface. And if you don't have much practice with rolling these out, you'll need a little extra flour. Use a rolling pin and just roll that out. That should do. We don't want this to be too thick or else it gets quite heavy. Press down again. This is almost like making puri, except you have the filling and the pastry in one. The filling's cooled down. To this, add coriander and spring onion. I'm going to use a pastry press to finish these up. The first piece of dough going onto that press. Pat it down gently, use a touch of water just to moisten the edges, which is going to glue the salmon puff together. Scoop the cool filling onto the pastry, that should do it, and squish that together. You can see there's a little excess pastry here, just pinch that off the sides. I'm going to pop these onto a platter that I've dusted with some flour, just so it doesn't stick. There they go. I'm going to fry these just before serving and I'm going to start with the paella now. I've got some beautiful langoustines here, some prawns that have been shelled and deveined and mussels. So you can say this is a shellfish paella. I'm starting out with some sunflower oil going into the pan. To this, add some bay leaf and cumin seeds. Heat the whole spices until they're fragrant. Add the onion. Season the onion with some salt. I'm using chicken stock, so not too much salt going in. Stir that, add two green chilies and some fresh thyme. Take your time when you're frying the onions and don't be impatient. It's the base to most of my dishes, so I want to get the best flavor. Garlic going in, always on the side of the pan, and stir that through. To this, some smoked paprika. I love the smoky aroma that comes through. Work that in. And once the paprika hits the oil, 
you get that lovely charred flavor coming through to this, the tomato. Lower the heat, add the mussels. And I've left the shells on because they're going to add lots of flavor to the rice. Pop the prawns on top. Pour some chicken stock over. And to this, add cooked basmati rice. The rice must be cold when you're making this dish and that's so it doesn't get sticky once it steams through. Add some peas on top, that's for that pop of color. Cover the pan now with a tight-fitting lid. While that's steaming, let's heat up a pot for the langoustines. You need a really hot pan when you're cooking off seafood. Remember, you don't want the seafood to stew in its own juices. So first ingredient, sunflower oil going in. And now, pop in the langoustines. The langoustine meat is quite sweet and you get lots of flavor once the shell is brown. I can't cook shellfish without butter. Leave that to melt and next, some salt and pepper. Most people think that you have to add garlic to the oil. I say add it in later so it doesn't burn. Fry off the garlic with the buttery juices in the pan. Squeeze in some lime juice. This is fresh lime and it's full of flavor. As you can see, the langoustine tails start to curl, which means they are ready. Take care not to overcook them or they will turn quite rubbery as well. Some fresh coriander going on top. Switch off the heat. Let's check on the paella. It steams beautifully. There is some liquid in here, which is perfect. I'm going to place the langoustine tails on top of the rice. So just lift them up and pop them on. And we can't waste those buttery juices. Let's pour them into the pan. And now just a bit of red and yellow pepper going on top. I cover the pan with a tight-fitting lid, switch off the heat and leave the rice to absorb those buttery juices. I've heated up some oil and I'm going to start out by frying those prawn and salmon puffs. And while I'm frying these, I'm going to prepare the batter for the crispy crayfish. I've got some chickpea flour going into a mixing bowl, rice flour, two tablespoons. To that, we've got some green chili, to this garlic, a teaspoon of red chili powder, about a half a teaspoon of roasted cumin seeds, baking powder, and fresh coriander. Mix those ingredients together. To make the batter, add some cold water and mix that together. I'm keeping an eye on the puffs as well as I do this. Season this batter with some salt and pepper. Mix that together. Let's take a look at the puffs. That's coming along beautifully. They're turning a pale golden in color. Flip them over from time to time to ensure they brown evenly. These are now ready, so lift them out the oil and place them on a platter. And that's the last one. I'm going to fry the crayfish tails in the same oil. Place that into the batter. I've left a little section of the tail on. That's just for presentation. Pop that into the oil. Gonna repeat this process with the remaining crayfish tails. And you could also use large prawns if you like for this recipe. Flip those over. We are in Johannesburg, but if you didn't know that and walked into this kitchen, you'd get the most amazing aromas of a decadent seafood feast. Let's get these out the oil. The crayfish is golden brown, it's crispy and it's cooked. To garnish this, I've got some lime wedges here. And I'm going to move a few along so I make some space for the chili garlic sauce. And for the prawn and salmon puffs, I've got some date and tamarind chutney. Let's have a look at the paella. That's steamed through beautifully. To garnish this, we've got some fresh coriander and some string onion. And now for the true test. Let's just scoop out a bit of this and have a look at those beautiful prawns at the bottom. They cook through, I get the lovely aroma of that smoked paprika coming through, and there's the mussel as well. Wherever you live, this menu is definitely gonna take you on a food adventure and remind you of the days you spent down by the sea. We've got the prawn and salmon puffs, crispy crayfish, and the star of our show, the delicious seafood paella.